This video demonstrates the procedures for properly calibrating microphones when using Studio 6 Digital's iAudio Interface 2 and a measurement microphone. iAudio Interface 2 includes an XLR input for many professional microphones, including ones that use 48 volt phantom power. Since individual microphones have varying efficiencies, it is important to properly calibrate the input to ensure that your measurement results are accurate. iAudio Interface 2 also has a line input that can be calibrated to a known input voltage. You are able to store a microphone and line calibration in the settings area of Audio Tools. Tap the blue triangle for the first entry to calibrate your microphone. If you have more than one microphone, tap the plus to add a new entry iAudio Interface 2 has a microphone preamp with phantom power and up to 50 dB of gain in set steps. It is important to set the right amount of gain to provide a good signal without clipping the microphone. iAudio Interface supports two gain ranges, high and low. The low range is best suited for quiet situations and the high range will be set up to work in loud environments. Ideally, you should calibrate a microphone with a reference sound source, or a piston phone. The piston phone is a transducer that creates a very precise sound pressure level and fits tightly on the diaphragm of the microphone. In this case, the piston phone creates a 94 dB SPL tone at 1 kHz. To calibrate, simply put the piston phone on the microphone's diaphragm and turn the sound source on. Access the calibration screen from the Utilities area of Audio Tools and select Microphone Setup. First, select the low range and pick a gain setting that yields a value close to 0 dBFS. Negative 7 to negative 2 dBFS would be ideal. Type 94 into the dB box. The trim is populated automatically. This will allow you to measure 96 dB SPL before clipping the input, but it also lets you measure quiet environments. Since the theoretical range is 96 dB, this setting will let you measure 0 dB SPL to 96 dB SPL. In order to measure louder SPL levels than the reference calibrator, you need to leave more headroom in the input. Select high range and then select a lower gain setting that leaves 20 dB headroom or so. Type 94 dB again into the SPL box. This will allow you to measure 20 dB greater than the SPL of the reference calibrator, in this case 114 dB. This is of course at the expense of the minimum SPL that you can measure before hitting the noise floor of the system which in this case is 18 dB SPL. If you don't have access to a piston phone, but too have access to a calibrated SPL meter, you can calibrate this way too. Turn on a speaker playing pink noise at a moderately loud level between 75 and 80 dB SPL measured on the reference meter, unweighted or with C weighting. Place the microphone to be used with iAudio Interface 2 next to the reference meter, pointing the same way and go to the calibration screen. Pick a gain setting that has 20 to 25 dB of dynamic range and type that SPL reading from the reference meter into the box. You can repeat the process for the high range, this time leaving 40 to 45 dB of headroom. After you've completed the calibration, you should verify that you're not clipping the iAudio interface too. Do this by again placing the piston phone on the microphone and use the audio scope of audio tools. You should see a clean sine wave that is not squared off it does not fill the screen when 1 milliseconds per div and 1x gain is selected. If you have multiple measurement microphones, you can store multiple calibrations. In the input source screen, click the plus and a new microphone entry will be created. Calibrate in the same way as before. You can switch between microphones in any audio tools module by clicking on the input source button in the setup screen. You can then choose what microphone you are using and the appropriate calibration will be recalled. If you have an extremely sensitive microphone with a very low noise floor and wish to measure down to extremely low SPLs, a modified procedure can be used. First, set the low range using a piston phone for 94 dB and note the trim value. Next, determine how much additional sensitivity is required. You may want another 10 or 20 dB of sensitivity to take full advantage of your quiet mic. Let's call this value X. Now, you will need a calibrated generator set to 1000 Hz. Plug the generator into the mic input and reduce the generator level until you are reading X dB below the calibrated level. For example, if you want an additional 20 dB of sensitivity, adjust the level so the dB field reads 74. 
Now set the preamp gain range higher by X dB, or slightly more. Adjust the trim field value until once again you read the same 74 dB SPL. This new trim number is your super sensitive trim value at the new preamp gain range. Remember, with these settings your mic will clip X dB sooner, so use the appropriate mic range when not measuring extremely quiet environments. Using this technique, we are now able to measure negative 10 dB SPL to 86 dB SPL. You have successfully calibrated your measurement microphone using the iAudio Interface 2. If you've purchased one of the three microphone options available from Studio 6 Digital, a table of typical preamp gain and trim values are presented on our website. This will allow you to get close to a calibrated system if a reference meter or piston phone is not available to you.